All right, so now we are working with an Excel spreadsheet. Um, I've downloaded some data from a uh, Google form. And let's say um, these questions, Q1 through Q7, were the ones that I downloaded. Now, all of these are going in the same direction um, except for two. Q3 and Q4 are doing something a little different. So a couple of these are I approve of, you know, torture techniques. These two are I'm against torture techniques. So what I did was I created two new variables here, two new um, uh, that, that are going to be uh, that I called Q3R and Q4R. That's to indicate that I've reverse scored these particular items. And really all I have to do is create a function here. And that's very easy to do. Um, that function will be, um, in this case, since um, my Likert scale goes from 1 to 7, what I'll do is I'll simply type in 8 minus, uh, in this case, C2. And when I do that, boom, like that, my 1, 8 minus 1, turns into a 7. Now I'm going to do a quick copy. And then I'm going to do a quick paste, and then I'm set. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with this cell. I'm going to go 8 minus D2, enter, and see the same thing happens. And then again, I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to paste and I'm all set now sometimes I can play have to play around with this a little bit but I'm going to go ahead next and create a function so in this case I'm going to want to use average so I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to put in the numbers that I want so I want a2, B2, H2, I2, E2, F2, and G2. And I'm going to click OK. And there we go. And now I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste. And now my torture variable is ready to be used. OK. And then I can correlate it against any other variables that I wish. And I'm ready to go. This would be ready to be uploaded into Jamovi. And uh, that's all you would need to be able to do. Okay. And all I did was something very, very simple. Um, so this is one of those things where I'll say, if I can do this, you can do this too. Now keep in mind, you know, your formulas may vary for reverse scored items. If you used a five-point Likert scale, for example, then to reverse score items, you'd have to use six minus one. So the function you'd enter into your appropriate cell would be equal 6 minus 1, okay, or 6 minus uh, that cell number, okay, so whatever that happens to be, if you catch my drift. So that's really what we're trying to do here is to try to make this as user-friendly as possible given what we have available to us, all right? And again, this is just one way of going about um, uh, the things that you need to do to prepare your data. Okay. Um, don't overthink it. Make it easy peasy. All right. And we'll go from there.